Now we will see what are the different types of standards. One is graphics and computing standards. Second is data exchange standards. And third is communication standards. So now graphics and computing standards, you have GKS, that is graphic kernel system and open graphics library, that is open GM. And in data exchange standards, we have uh, different types of data standards, but uh, as per syllabus, we will be covering IGES, STEP, DXF, and CALS. So other than that, we have uh, PICS, uh, PH, IGES, CORE, GKS 3D, uh, Virtual Data Interface, Virtual Data Machine, and NAPL, uh, PS as well. So now see what is IGES. IGES is Initial Graphics Exchange uh, Specification and the step is Standard for Exchange of uh, Product and DXM is Data Exchange Format and CALS is Computer Aided Logistics Support and it is being developed by US Defense. So uh, there is a combination for uh, CALS because uh, in few days, it is computer related acquisition for logis acquisition logistic support, and few days, a computer acquisition computer related acquisition uh, for uh, life support. So, logistic support and life support. So, there's a contradiction, and let's now pick the this computer aided acquisition uh, for logistic support. It's for uh, it is developed by US Defense, and third is communication standards. Now we will go in detail. So, what it is exactly what we are learning? And so, what is um, CAP data exchange? What is computer aided data exchange? Simply computer aided data exchange. Now we have a lot of softwares. We have a lot number of softwares uh, to exchange data. Once the CAD design is done or uh, CAD drafting is done, they used to save the file and they used to transfer the file. Now there are a lot of softwares available to transfer these files. And that we also will be also looking up to it. And let's just translate from one CAD system to another CAD system. For example, we are working in system X. We are doing it the same. And we have to exchange this data. Normally, we used to draw a diagram or we used to attach them in a mail or we used to take in a pen drive and we will copy. But this CAD files are very different. Uh, we cannot take as it is. We cannot do as it is. It has certain protocols. And uh, normally, when it when in, uh, in this manufacturing industry, like OE and Mosul equipment manufacturers, or in uh, vendor or supplier, they have they follow a different standards based on, uh, for example, I, I, I'll, I'll say an example. You know, Mahindra vehicles. So a vehicle which is going to be released in 20, uh, 2030 by Mahindra, maybe the Mosul equipment manufacturer will be doing the design in two thousand. Uh, 15 or 16 or 20 or 10 years before. Only after a lot of validation, a lot of efforts, the product will be into the market. So, this now this image, the CAD diagram, is a secure data now because it cannot be released as it is because there are a lot of competitors in the market, uh, a lot of hacking is going on to take this data. So, there are a lot of uh, safety measures adopted uh, to change or interchange or exchange this data and all this is uh, done by certain softwares that is CAD data exchange okay and then is transfer from one CAD system is into another CAD system that is a CAD file format the lot of CAD file format BMP, TIFF, JPEG, TIFF uh, I'll say I'll, I'll come to that later and now we have three uh, systems one is direct CAD system that when we say direct CAD system we have a internal direct CAD system and external direct CAD system. What is the internal direct CAD system is very simple. Consider I have an office. I have a, uh, I am an original equipment manufacturer. I have, I have an office. I am designing a system. I am designing, I'm designing a project, a CAD project. I am drawing and I am doing a 2D, 2D drawing. Okay. As usual, once I complete the drawing, I can save like, just like the file open file save i can save it inside my system and any of my uh, team can open it and view it in my system itself that is the internal uh, one and when we say uh, external direct card system that is between a supplier and an original uh, manufacturer for example as i said in mahindra as a project 
and uh, I am doing same. My company is XYZ, and I am doing the project. So I have to transfer the data to my uh, that is that's an external source. Now there I have to follow certain uh, uh, software uh, technology that's an indirect transition. And then we have that third party translator and intermediate data exchange format. All these three, you can see this uh, direct CAD system. Uh, Direct thread, third party translator, and data exchange format. And these are the three types of data exchange methods. And this implemented data exchange format is this one BMP, that is Windows Bitmap Files, and uh, TF, that is text files, JPEG, as you should know, then TIF or GIF, graphics interchange for, format files, and uh, software, soft files, and speak files, soft files or PIC files. We, we used to call and all these are combined to form a uh, CAD data exchange for it. Uh, yes, CAD data exchange methods. So, with this, we are covering the first uh, part of what exactly is being mentioned. So, hope there will be no doubts in this. And I can, have, I can see what is PIX, what is core, what is JK, is really, what is BD, and what is VDM, and what is uh, NAPL, BSM. Next, uh, so uh, we will continue with our uh, topic. Now we are like PHIG is PIX as like we have already. Uh, I mean PIX, uh, P may be silent at this. I'll say what is PIX tells programmers hierarchical interactive graphics. Okay, uh, if you can, if you want, you just can make a note of it. Programmers hierarchical uh, interactive graphics system. And VDIS, uh, I'm sorry for that, it's virtual device interface and VDMS, virtual device meta file, VDM. And we have NAP LPS that is a uh, uh, level protocol system, uh, LPS level protocol system, and it's uh, American um, systems, American protocol uh, system that is a level protocol system. And now we will go with another important uh, session called GKS, that is Graphics Kernel System. So, we will see what is Graphic Kernel System. Graphic Kernel System is actually uh, the first proposed uh, standards for graphics by ISO, that is International Standards Organization, and also ANSI, that is American National Standards Institute. So before that, let us see what are the standards institute for this CAD. Like in, in India, you know, BAS, Bureau of Indian Standards. Likewise for, uh, uh, likewise for some world um, softwares, uh, for example, CATI, some These are all originated from different uh, manufacturers outside India. And we have a common uh, standards protocol like this, ISO. International Standards Organization, uh, German, uh, yeah, German uh, Standards Institute, and uh, ISO and ACMS, American uh, Computer Missionary. I mean, they, this is company I mean, Computer Manufacturers in India, the Association of Computer Missionary, yeah, Association of Computer Missionary, that is ACM, and ANSI is American National uh, Standards Institute, and ISO is International Standards Institute. International uh, Standards uh, Organization and uh, GIS German Institute of Standards German uh, Institute of Standards G and N. Okay, now we'll say uh, graphics kernel systems again. It's been the first that's very important. First to propose graphical systems. A graphical system should be like this. That what we proposed by ISO and uh, ANSI and the GKS is first among it. It's a set of what is a set of uh, a formula or a principle or maybe maybe it's a, it's it's a production or a manipulation of images. Basically, it's a production or manipulation of images according to what a CAD uh, uh, drawing should be should be. That's that's uh, that's what we uh, we uh, mentioned here. It's, it's it's called by some you can have uh, it's called by the user programs to carry out. Generalized functions. I'll say what is generalized function. For example, you know, you are drawing a two drawing, any of the two drawing. We'll be calling a uh, circle or ellipse, etc. You know, you will be either you'll be drawing a circle or ellipse. Now, once you while you are drawing some uh, CAD images, 2D, 2D images, especially 
2D uh, images, we will be calling the ellipsoidal circuit for to complete some 2D images. Now this is called this graph schema system. That's why called by see two things. Why I wrote this here again? I will not be confused again. If you have, if you want to take a note of it, you can take a note of it. So already might be available in your textbook. So if you if you use and if you are uh, following this channel and following this video, you can take uh, you can take this uh, call by using programs to get your generalized function that you can uh, take out uh, what it is. Okay. And now this is the basic diagram of uh, GKS. A lot of time to take this. Other resources. So there are two types of. Uh, CAD systems, one is with graphics and other is without graphics. Some other resources, graphical resources, this operating system, graphic kernel system, language independent layer, application oriented layer, and application program. So please don't write this ACM and C uh, ISO gene into this image like this much. Other resources, graphical resources, operating system, graphic kernel system, language independent layer, application oriented layer, and application. Program. This is a, uh, this is a standard diagram for a graphics kernel system. So now this graphic kernel system is built by a set of building blocks. What we say uh, for construction, we are constructing something, maybe a building. Oh, one good example I can see. For example, uh, you want a image, a picture of a 2D image of your building. You are constructing a house. So you'll be expecting a designer to present you how your building looks like. Now we have 3D option, of course, but again, you know, we'll uh, you'll be uh, you'll take a look of 3D or 2D, whatever it is. Now, this 2D or 3D architectural image or building image has to follow a set of standard. And those drawings has to follow a set of standard uh, graphic system. And now for this is the GKS will be used. That is consistent will be used. And also, it is uh, like likewise we construct a building, a construct a portfolio, likewise we'll likewise GKS is constructed by a set of building blocks, and we call it as primitives. What it is? Primitives. Okay. And these are the basic building blocks and primitives. One is polyline. Next is poly marker, next is fill area, next is text, and next is cell array. And we will see what is polyline. Polyline is a sequence of connected lines. For example, we are drawing so I have no space here, maybe I can I can uh, move this up. So that, oh, oh well, I can do this again. I'll be confused. Okay. Set of lines. See, this might not be the exact one, but I just want to make you understand. Okay, the sequence of uh, connected lines that is a uh, polyline, and poly marker is a sequence of points with same symbols. Now, poly marker is a sequence of points with same symbols. See. This is all uh, for short information, okay? Don't uh, interpret with the original data. I just, you know, you have to follow certain things to uh, memorize everything. There are certain steps to memorize everything. And these are the simple tricks uh, to memorize things. So once you draw like this, okay, this is polyline. So polyline, okay, this is polyline. And uh, next is like a polymarker, or polymarker that is a set of points. When we say polyline, it's a sequence of connected lines. So this is sequence one, two, one, two, three, four, five sequence of lines. And uh, when we say polymark, it's a sequence of points. So okay, one, two, three, uh, four, five. You know, instead of uh, a sequence of point, a sequence of points with the uh, same symbols. Okay, then that's very important. Thing. Same symbol is very important. And it's fill areas. You know, a specified area where you can uh, fill. Uh, for example, maybe if you draw a 2D drawing, you used to pick an area, you used to fill, right? That is now the specified area. So, fill area is specified area where you can fill, and text is string of characters. 
Mommy will be writing dimensions uh, to the amount. No? You should write in the other, right? You know, you remember, you will be writing something that is. So, you know what is fill area? Now you are clear with what is text, that is string of characters, and finally, you know, send array. So, from send array, send array is a, a image uh, composed of a variety of colors. Uh, for example, what I can say exactly in a 2D image. Normally, it is a grayscale. Normally, in a 2D image, it is a grayscale. Other than that, uh, you know, set of colors where image can be uniquely represented. Okay, that's what the cell array is all about. Okay, now this is a graphic kernel system. So, uh, you know, you, you just you know, once you attend the most examinations, you know, first you write what is graphic kernel system. For that, absolutely, graphic kernel system is the first. Graphic system is proposed, uh, graph, uh, proposed by ISO. Um, standards, uh, <laughs> there's a specific standards by ISO and Nancy. First line, you can write it uh, the graphics kernel system is. Uh, is proposed to be proposed to be the first graphic system by ISO and NC. Okay, and then like this is to uh, manipulate, uh, produce or manipulate images. Uh, okay, the second line and third line you can write this called by user programs to carry out generalized version. This called by you know user programs is any anything. Okay, uh, probably your getting uh, what user programs are doing. Called by user programs to carry out generalized functions such as drawing a circle or drawing a ellipse or a spline, whatever it is. Okay, called by user programs to carry out generalized functions. So now this is done. Then you draw the image. Other SOS this is operating system, graphics kernel system, application model, application program, and you just complete the image. Okay, so the building is done, image is done, and then you can update there are a set of building blocks for the graphics kernel system, and they are called as primitives, and there are, there are the five lines, so one is polyline, and then you have to write what is polyline, then you have to write what is polymarker, then you can write what is field area, then you can write what is text, and then you can write what is cell array. Okay, now you complete. Uh, uh, writing these things, okay, maybe, maybe. See, basically, this video is not for all those uh, um, brilliant hacks. Okay, what do we say? Brilliant hacks. Okay, yes, you can have a reference. But this video, learn easy, is simply made for one who has space to clear their uh, exams or courses in a in a quick session of the. You, at the same time, you should understand things. One good thing in mechanical engineering is everything is practical. Everything, once you, one, say, even if you study thermodynamics, same if you study strength of materials, you study thermal engineering, or you study any course, everything has a practical side of it. So once you, once you study something, visualize that, oh, this, this is how it is going to work. Okay, this is how it is going to perform. Once you start visualizing, things will be easy. That's why Learn Easy is here for you.